Welcome back to Jason Bowman Loves Cars. I'm Jason Bowman, and I love cars. Today I'm going to tell you my story of the Volkswagen Corrado. During my second tour of duty at the speed shop, my short-lived manager had a light blue Volkswagen Corrado. I think it started life as a G60, but a 1.8 turbo had been transplanted into it by the previous owner. The guy was just a young feller, and I always felt sorry for that car. He never washed it and only maintained it when it literally ground to a halt. He had considered selling it. I was considering buying it. At the time, these cars were still worth a small fortune, and this particular car needed a lot of work. I passed on it. Fast forward to 2021, and these cars have become quite the bargain, and certainly deserve a second look. The Volkswagen Corrado was a two-door, two-plus-two front-wheel drive liftback coupe built by Volkswagen from 1988 to 1995 and manufactured by Carmen in... Germany. Pen the Corrado design. The Corrado overlapped and eventually superseded Volkswagen Scirocco. 97,521 Corrados left dealer showrooms during their seven-year model run. The VR6 Corrados used suspension components from the A3 parts bin, including the rear axle assembly and some parts of the A3 Plus type front axle assembly. The wider front track of the Corrado VR6 required the fitting of wider front fenders with wider wheel wells and fender liners, along with a new wider front bumper. The Corrado was aerodynamically <clears throat> The Corrado was aerodynamically advanced for its time, featuring flush-mounted windows and active rear spoiler. The rear spoiler raises automatically when the car exceeds 45 miles per hour and automatically retracts at speeds below 15 miles per hour. It can also be manually raised by the driver. The Corrado's marketing was not for the faint of heart. Lovers of Volkswagen Beetles, please cover your eyes. There are two ways to make a Volkswagen go 225 kilometers an hour. The other way is to make a new Volkswagen. The new Corrado from Volkswagen. Launched near the end of 1988, all Corrados were front wheel drive with gasoline powered engines. The Corrado debuted with two engine choices a 1.8 liter 16 valve inline 4 with 134 horsepower, and the G60 supercharged 1.8 liter 8 valve inline 4 delivering 158 horsepower. Specifications by year. The G60 was introduced in 1991. The Corrado G60 is named for the G-Ladder scroll supercharger. The internal components resemble the letter G. The legendary VR6 was introduced in 1991. The VR6 was a 12-valve engine. The North American version was a 2.8 liter with 179 horsepower. The VR6 engine was a good compromise between a V6 and an I6 engine by placing the two-cylinder banks at an angle of 15 degrees with a single cylinder head. When the VR6 engine was introduced in North America, the G60 engine went in the bin, in the bin, after 1992. In 1993, Volkswagen updated the styling with a new front grille and fog lamps. Stock performance. Motor Week tested the Corrado VR6 and it ran from 0 to 60 in 6.4 seconds and ran the quarter mile in 15 seconds flat at 96 miles per hour. Aftermarket performance. The aftermarket for the VR6 is strong. Aftermarket header. Air intake. High lift cams. Cap back exhaust. Turbo kits. Handling goodies are also plentiful. Coilovers, larger diameter sway bars, strut tower braces, tubular control arms, racing. The Corrado is a popular car to drag race. That Corrado took that WRX to Gapplebee's. Auto crossing comes naturally.
The Corrado is a popular hill climb car. Perhaps the best use of a crotto is bombing down a country road enjoying the scenery on a beautiful summer's day. Wait! What was that? Holy crap! Another jackalope sighting! Buying a Volkswagen Corrado. The tin worm may have to sit this one out. Corrados are not known to have rust issues. Uh, the only sources of rust are around the back glass and the bottom of the doors. Poorly repaired accident repairs and neglect can take their toll though, so inspect them carefully. The swirly boy on the G60 is known to be problematic and requires periodic rebuilds. Head gasket failures are common on the VR6. The entire cooling system is problematic. The plastic components tend to crack with age. The heater core is also a common failure point. Frequent vacuum leaks occur. Motor mounts are said to have a very limited lifespan. The plastic at the base of the shift lever gets brittle with age. The super rad active aero rear spoiler. The super rad active aero rear spoiler likes to pop fuses or not work altogether. Electrical problems are also common because Volkswagen. Either engine can be difficult to service as the hood release cable commonly breaks. Holy shit, why would anyone want to own one of these things? I'm gonna call a friend. Hey, Jackie Jason from Jason Bowman Loves Cars here. Sorry to phone you at dinner time, but I have to ask. You want a Corrado, right? Sure do, bro. It's a freaking awesome VR6. Is that car really worth all the trouble? Bro, the car is awesome sauce. Anything in life this awesome comes at a price. Thanks for your opinion, dude. See you on set. Later, bro. If the laundry list of possible electrical mechanical issues has not scared you away yet, Haggerty reports the average price of a G60 supercharged to be $12,300. They value the naturally aspirated car at $10,700 and the average price of the VR6 is $18,300. Haggerty nailed this one. Finding a Corrado for sale is difficult. I found two on Kijiji. Uh, the first one was a minty 1990 Corrado with a long list of maintenance covering practically everything mentioned above for $9,000. I also found a really sweet VR6 for $13,500. The Volkswagen Corrado has been recognized as a desirable collectible and prices are on the rise. Get yours now before they become unobtainium. <laughs> like the Acura Integra Type R. Thanks for watching this episode of Jason Bowman Loves Cars. I hope you enjoyed my story of the Volkswagen Corrado. Please remember to like, subscribe, and comment.